Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Slasher Scotty. I am your host, Scotty McCoy, and today concludes a week of Samhain with interviews from the cast members of the of the indie uh, horror comedy film Samhain. I have Kelly Gradwell, and she played Cassie in the movie. Hi Kelly, how you doing? I'm doing great. Um, so uh, I have a couple of questions. The first one is, um, how did you find out about the auditions for Samhain, and what made you want to audition? So I first seen um, the post on one of the actor guilds that I was in, and I kind of got my curiosity. And I thought, well, I'm in theater. What's the difference between theater and a movie? <laughs> <laughs> right. And um, you know, it's it's really fun being um being able to be around other people, especially when they share the same interests. And right, I was just happy to be a part of it. That's awesome. So we know that you auditioned for three roles: Regina, Cassie, and Catherine. Um, you obviously got the role of Cassie. Um, which of the three roles were you hoping for the most, and why? Well, when I first got it, I was kind of interested in doing Regina, mm -hmm. and then I thought, um, after a little bit of talking, like, Cassie kind of suited me a little more at the time. Okay. Awesome. Um, not that I, I still favor Regina a little more, but... Right, right. Um, so at the rap party, a lot of people jumped uh, during one of your scenes, and... Uh, let me see. So, spoiler reasons, I really cannot say what uh, the scene was, obviously, but uh, I'm sure you know what I'm speaking about. Um, so, how was it doing that scene? Like, was it scary or challenging? And if so, how? Okay, so I do know the scene, and I'm I'm thrilled to hear that that <laughs> it did get a reaction because I couldn't make a rap party because of work and everything. Right. So I'm anxious to see. I haven't even seen it yet, so I'm still <laughs> anxious to see it. Um, so I'm excited that it that it read really well on on screen. And let me see, are there challenges? Um, I think the only challenges we had was trying to make sure that everything looked the same, that the continuity was was good, and and the flow of it went well. Right, right, exactly. Um, so, uh, what was the environment like on set? In general, it's just usually really nice to be on set. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody's really nice. Um, I'll joke around. It's it's really a good time. Um, it's easy to get off track, too, so it's good to have somebody that's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> right. But everybody's super friendly, and, and then we all got along really well, and it was just fun. Yeah. So there was a... Um, so what was your most memorable moment while filming Samhain? There was a lot of different moments that were pretty fun. Um, I think the the best part was just the fact that Brett would kind of get into character and then just scare the bejesus out of everybody <laughs> that he could. <laughs> so there were a couple of times when we were up filming and, you know, Carl was lovely to try and help me go to the bathroom a couple of times um, in the, as my cover and... <laughs> Brett was hiding behind one of the trees down there, and I'm so happy that I had gone to the bathroom already, or I may have peed myself <laughs> <laughs> when he jumped out. <laughs> and I've determined that if we are ever in a serious issue where we're in the horror movie or anything, Carl is not the person I want to be with because he bolted. <laughs> <laughs> I can really see that happening. That is too funny. Oh my god. And I could see yeah. Brett doing that and as well. he's got really long legs, so like when he bolted, he was gone. <laughs> I've been dead. The last question I got for you is, uh, do you have any projects, gigs, or events coming up that you would like to promote to our listeners? So right now, everything here is on hold until okay. hopefully next week when we go green and they're going to start um, doing auditions again. Right. Um, I am part of Schuylkill Free Shakespeare which absolutely check them out. It's a beautiful group. We, okay. um, it's free. Absolutely. <laughs> um, we put on usually two plays, um, over the summer, um, okay. this summer they are working on something, but 
everything's hush hush so we, i'm not sure what they're working on <laughs> but i i know some of the people that are involved in the project so i'm sure it's going to be absolutely beautiful okay so i can't wait to see what they're doing awesome i'm so excited <laughs> um last year we did hamlet and um rosencrantz and guildenstern are dead okay so i imagine this not this summer but next summer we're probably going to do um midsummer's night's dream okay which is lovely. So it's usually all Shakespeare, but it's absolutely free. It's at the Yingling Park, and okay. you know we try to do other projects throughout the year. And then, of course, we really support the Majestic Theater. Yeah, okay. awesome. <laughs> we're trying to do Mamma Mia and <laughs> um, Steel Magnolias. Awesome. Which I'm not gonna. I'm not a singer. <laughs> <laughs> not a singer, so I'm not gonna. I will. I will be in the audience for that one <laughs> but steel magnolias um i'm probably going to audition for so awesome. hopefully once everything gets back to a little bit normal and yeah. <laughs> auditions are back open i'll be getting i'll be right. getting because it was really tough with it they can't like i'm in dance so our recital got canceled so mm -hmm. we couldn't dance and then two of our <laughs> plays got canceled and yeah. i'm like it's been a mess i need <laughs> yeah, I was like, I need a platform. <laughs> I need to share my art. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been a mess lately uh, with this whole COVID thing going on. But I do thank you for uh, taking time out of your schedule to join um, join me, Kelly. Absolutely, thank you so much for having me. No problem. Before I let you go, I'm gonna plug in the movie, obviously. So uh, Sound will be out in select theaters in October 2020. It'll be available to stream on Amazon in November 2020. We might be available on other streaming platforms. So to uh, find out what other platforms are on, you can follow us on Facebook at www.facebook.com/gravestonefilms, and you can also follow the movie fan page which is uh, www.facebook.com slash movie, And also we have a website, which is www.gravestonefilms.com. And then one last thing is we have the premiere. It is going to be happening July 18th. I got a conf confirmation from the Angela Triplex Theater's uh, general manager, so it will be at the Angela Triplex Theater in Coaldale. Um, the doors open and the red carpet event also starts at 6 p.m. The screening will be around 7 p.m. Times may vary depending on how long the red carpet happens. And then afterwards, we will be doing a meet and greet with the cast and crew of Samhain. If you want to get your, uh, if you want to get tickets, you can go to uh, Eventbrite. I'm sorry, at uh, SamhainPremiere.eventbrite.com. And also, we we will be doing an autograph signing. That is part of the meet and greet. So make sure to get your merchandise at Teespring.com/stores/GravestoneFilms and uh, posters, uh, T-shirts, anything that we can you can get signed. The cast and crew will be willing to sign for you after the movie has uh, finished showing. So. So once again, thank you, Kelly, for uh, joining us. Thank you for having me, and uh, hopefully we'll see everybody at the premiere. Not a problem, yes. Hopefully we'll see everybody at the premiere, and this wraps a week of Samhain. Um, one last plug is that on Tuesday I will be interviewing uh, Haley Greenbauer, and she will she's a part of the film from uh, Friday the 13th alumni Debbie Sue Voorhees. It's called 13 Fanboy, and she plays the lead. And thank you, Kelly, and you have a great rest of your day. You too. Bye. Thank you.